Hi, I'm Doug from First Tech. In today's My First Tech Academy segment, we're going to talk about fuses. There are many different styles and variations of fuses. I've got a few here on display so you guys can see the differences between them. However, the only function of a fuse is to protect a circuit in a vehicle, or not necessarily in a vehicle, but in any application where you're using DC current. So let's talk a little bit about the differences in fuses. Um, they range anywhere from a very large ANL fuse, so this is a 200 amp fuse, all the way down to uh, mini fuse, which is ATM for mini. You have now three pin fuses that come in a lot of the newer vehicles that actually fuse two circuits within this one fuse. So if you look at this fuse a little closer, I'll just give you a, a little brief synopsis of this. The center pin is typically going to be your 12 volt feed. And then the outside pins are both fused with internal fusing links between those two outside pins. You also have your standard ATC fuse. Okay, so this is a standard ATC. This is a standard ATM. Um, different fuse ratings will determine how much current can be drawn through a fuse before it fails. So a fuse is one-time use, obviously. There's other types of circuit protection, such as circuit breakers and things like that can be used multiple times. However, a fuse, once it sacrifices itself, it's all over, it just has to be replaced, obviously. So the other couple of fuses I have out here, this is an AGU fuse, the old glass style fuse that went in the fuse holder under the hood for most car audio systems from years gone by. They have switched now, a lot of the new fuse holders use either a maxi fuse or a miniature version of the maxi fuse, or they use a mini ANL because again, there's many different variations of fuses. That's something you will certainly find. So in typically ap typical applications, you will have two types of fuse holders inside the vehicle is a fuse holder like this that will hold an ATC fuse. This comes pre-wired on the relay harnesses that you will receive on a lot of them. You will also find that you can use, this as a waterproof fuse holder that can be used under the hood or outside where it actually seals up so the fuse is sealed inside a waterproof housing. So just quickly, this is a chart that shows how much current can be drawn through a wire of a particular size. So the fuse rating that should be followed is directly related to the length of the wire and the size of the wire. So the larger the wire, the more current that can pass through the wire, hence a larger fuse can be used to protect that circuit. So you need to keep that in mind that when you're fusing a circuit, two things are limiting factors, the size or gauge of the wire, as well as the length of the wire. So always use a fuse holder on every circuit you're adding to the vehicle because you definitely don't want to cause fire or melt a wire inside a vehicle. Hope this helps. Have a great day.